Hello friends, welcome to the channel RetailConnect.com. In this session, we will discuss what is map in JavaScript. Okay, so this is not the map we use with array. Okay, this is separate map as object array. This is similar to this one of map in JavaScript. So we will discuss today what is map in JavaScript, how to use the map, where to use, and what is the difference between the map and object and array as well okay so you can see in javascript we have an object which stores key value okay and it is not iterable that means you cannot create directly a loop on the object values okay now we have an array inside our javascript which is used for sorting or manipulating our ordered collections okay that means array used to store ordered collections which is iterable okay so there was an re uh, requirement so that we can use object plus array both behavior in one okay so for that map arrived and you will have object plus array behavior inside map that means a map will have key value pair and it has ordered collection as well okay that means it has array which which have key value inside array okay and it will be iterable that means you can iterate the map okay so what are the methods we will discuss today inside the map which is used to using the map okay so you can create a new map using this keyword new okay it will create the map then we will have set and inside set you will pass the key and value which will store the value by key third one is map dot get you can pass the key and you will get the value fourth one has key it will return whether the key exit or not in boolean means true or false okay map dot delete it will delete if the exist if the key exists otherwise it will return false if it will exist then it will defeat, uh, delete and will return true okay map dot clear it will remove all the existing key value pairs inside the map okay map dot size will return the length or you can say how many key value pairs are there okay and these are the things which can be used to iterate your map if you want the keys only and in array then you will have to use like this if you want to the values then you have, if you want the both key value as array then you will have map dot entering so come to the practical let we have a new map here okay we have create a new map map dot set is the first method which we will use and we will have key one here and we will have some value okay similarly you will have another okay for that let's suppose we will pass the key as number and the third one if you will have let's suppose a, there is a function okay so let's suppose you have a function here let function equal to that it is an error function okay and we will have function here okay and then we if we console direct m then you will get nothing empty object here okay of map okay and if you want to get the iterable then you have to do or let i of m dot integer if you get the key value then you will have to call the integer otherwise if you want to key only then you have to go for keys okay m dot sorry i so you will get the key value as array separately what you have set in the map okay so you can see our key is string here it is number and it is function 
so in map you can give any data type as key means the key may have any data type which can be object function number boolean anything okay now if you want to get the keys only then you have like this okay and if you have values then you have like this okay we have same number same value okay so if you want to values then you have now you can get the only one key simply if you want to get only one value using the key m dot get and if you pass some key it will not if it will not exist it will return undefined okay you can see it is undefined key one you will get value if you pass 76 then you will get 84 if you pass concern then you will get 81 that means any data type key can be used here to get the value okay so now we will check for hash so if we have hash then you can see it, it is returning true if we have some value 34 let's suppose it is returning false that means 34 is not existing as key inside this map okay now what we will do we will use delete so if you use delete with not existing key you will get false if you will use delete with any existing one like 76 you will get true and inside this you will get only two that means one has been deleted okay so delete can delete a key value pair okay now there is clear and size before clear we will use the size okay so you can check the size of the map so it is three okay and if you clear it you will get nothing inside this one okay that means if we use size as well it will get give zero that means there is no inside map there is nothing inside map okay so we have discussed size clear delete head get and set and we have introduced value as key so one thing we will discuss what will happen if uh, if we have uh, a set like this it will set it like suppose double r equal to 99 what will happen see inside it is same three because it is not considered as key value set here and inside the edit table you are also not getting the value that means if you will write like this if, like this we set the object which would not work inside this okay so if you will check like this as get as well and double r you will get undefined that means it will not exist that means you cannot set the key value pair like this okay as you set in array or uh, sorry yes you can say array in javascript array or javascript in array you will have to pass the index and in the object you will have to pass the key yeah. okay that means it will not going to work now what we will discuss if you have to convert uh, a JSON object or you can say object to map so convert object to map so how can we convert for that we will have a JSON with some value let's suppose we have this one json here okay and we want to convert into map then we have let m equal to new map and here we will pass 
object dot integer object dot e n t r i e s object dot integer and we will pass the object here. Okay, so console dot log we will have map or you have to make it iterate here for let i of m dot integer okay and we will have i here okay so you can see in console that we have converted this json evenly pair object into our map okay similarly if you want to convert in reverse that means map to object so here we will have map now we will convert into new json then let new as equal to we will use object dot from integer okay from integer and we will pass the map in the in console then in console okay so in your console you can see we have the desired output and its prototype is object okay so here we discussed how to convert object to map and from map to object okay so what we have discussed till now we have discussed these all methods how to create map and then we have discussed how to convert map to object and then object to map okay now we have discussed what is map map is basically the combination of object and array which have properties of key value as well as ordered collection and it is iterable so we can create a loop on this map okay now we will come to the versus object so what is the differences between the object versus map okay so the first one is we'll discuss here in console no uh, comment okay so we will discuss in comment okay so what are the differences between first difference is key okay so in the object we have key in string or symbol we can only use the key as string data type or as symbol okay but in map we can have any data type type keys okay so in map we can define key of any data type so the first difference is key now the second is size in object there is no inbuilt method to get no in build method to get size of object key value okay but in map we have dot size method to get size or can say length of the key value pairs okay in object if you want to achieve that one you have to do like that console dot log object dot each or value you can do and here is json and you can do the length so you will get three if you want to have get the size of key value okay now the third difference is transversal or you can iteration okay so to iterate in map 
we have using the iterate here. So you in iterate, we can use the iterate with the help of like this, let off, okay. So let off are introduced in array, uh, ESX. And uh, we have can use array map dot in each map dot keys or map dot values, okay. To get the iterate, iterable, okay. But in object, if you want to do iterate anything, then you have to do object dot keys and then you can use here for each or map you can use okay so then you can use this key okay or something to iterate okay you have keys or you can use values okay or you can iterate use iterate okay so basically you can do like this. Console dot log. Let's suppose have some value here. What will happen? So you can see that we have values here key values okay if you are if you will use entries otherwise if you have keys then you will have key only and if you have values then you have values only okay so that means in iterable transfers you can say transversal In transversal case, object will have to convert with object dot object dot in trees or keys, yeah, keys yeah, or values to get array, and then we will use the map for each on them. But in map case, you will have let off, okay, in for loop, okay. Or let off. Okay. Now we come to the default case. Okay. So in in map twenty default case. In map we don't have any default case. Okay. No default key. Okay, but in the object we have prototyped. Okay, keys. Okay, like object of type of string. Okay, so there is no default key in map, whereas in object we have like this. Okay. So these are all the differences, basic differences between the map and object. So where you can use object and map, you can easily decide to use, okay? If you want to keep the key value pair, but you want to have the key which is not a string or you can store the key as function, then you can use this or if you want to iterate on this key value pairs, then you can easily create map. Otherwise, you go for the map. Okay. If you want to get the size, you can easily get the size with a map. Okay. So, I hope you got what we have in map, okay, in deep. So we will discuss another topic in next session of JavaScript. Okay. And uh, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next video. Thanks.